we left the last debate, didn't we, Gloria, with a, a quite heated debate about Lee Anderson. And you heard there, Alex Burghardt, how the PM said he suspended Lee, suspended Lee Anderson immediately. Is there no way back for him? No, no, as I was saying before the break, I very much hope there is. But, um, you know, we have a chief whip who will be considering these things and considering, you know, what uh, what Lee said, uh, clarifying his remarks and perhaps rowing back slightly from some of them, as he as I think he should do, because I think it's wrong. I think he was wrong to assert that um, that the mayor of London is controlled by Islamists. Reading his piece in the Express this morning, I think he recognises that. But as I say, we have internal process, and I'll, yes. get, a, I'll get a stiff word from the chief whip myself. And the term clumsy, I'm making you think he's clumsy, not wrong, do you? Uh, yeah, I look, um, I think, as I've just said, I think it was wrong for him to say um, say what he said about the mayor of London in that context. Uh, but, um, you know, he, uh, he said he was, uh, he subsequently said he was clumsy, and I think he was right to do so. Uh, Labour's uh, Stella Creasy, what do, you, what do you make of that? Well, I can only go on what's being said in my local community, which is a very, very diverse community. People are very on edge. There's a lot of community tension. And when they see positions, people in positions of power, elected people using both racist and Islamophobic language, and it was because it categorised all Muslims as being the same, to not acknowledge that. We've got to acknowledge there's a problem. Did it? There is absolutely a problem. Yes, he said, he said that Sadiq Khan was in hock to his mates, as if there is some kind of international conspiracy. Now, many of us have called out those people who've made those allegations about Jewish people in our country. And I think we do have to recognise, and I listened to Saeed Awasi on this, there is a problem. We have to know <coughs> the problem to deal with it, because it's actually in nobody's interest for this kind of behaviour, this kind of language to become normalised. I have read that article in The Express. Well, you have now, it, I, and I, I mean, and I, well, I'm now trying Chris to, gave it to you at I'm the break. Trying to, yeah, I have read it because you said I should, so I wanted to read. Yeah, and well, very glad but you actually, Lee Anderson is still doubling down on the idea that it is not racist, <laughs> so it is not Islamophobic. Just come back on what Alex, you said, Stella. I've listened to you, so, right, so, can I finish my sentence? Go on, go on, Thank go on. you. Go on. And I, I just think we all have a choice to make because British politics is right now full of heat, not light. And you probably saw that in Prime Minister's Question Times. Okay. We've all got to go out and justify to our constituents, actually, are we getting the work done? Are we doing things to make things better for your lives? Or are we just shouting and screaming at each other and using more and more extreme language? I don't want to live in Trump's America. I I probably think you don't want to either, Alex. We've got a choice to make whether we're going to bring and import that kind of behaviour here or actually when it happens, just say sorry, Lee Anderson, because he can't say sorry. And he said in the article he's not going to apologise.